Did a bit more research this week. Okay. Found a good story out about a monkey. Right. <laughs> Tell us about this monkey, Carl. You're gonna love this one, Steve, Go right? On. Uh, yeah, so last week we were talking about how, like, a lad left his family because there was problems at home and that. He went and lived in the wood, he got airy. Right? Yes. No, leave it there, oh, Rick. We haven't got time to go into right, it. So that's what happened. And that's what happened. He lived with the monkeys, he went airy. That's, anyway, what, happened. that's what happened. Looked into uh, some other stuff about, like, airy kids and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came across this story about a bloke, right, who worked in a zoo. Oh dear. Right. So, uh. Um, Trouble's brewing. L loving his job and that, but. It's, qu it's quite a lonely sort of job because you don't see many people, you're just dealing with animals all the time, right? Mm. So, anyway, well. he gets a bit pally with a monkey because it's the closest thing to to a human. Well, that he is. Right. Yeah, but you can't really go that close to apes. Well, is it dangerous? What, what do you mean? What type was it? Do you just mean let it was him tell the story. Was it a chimpanzee? I reckon it was a chimp, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know. So it's a chimp. It was okay. a chimp. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, does so it? So he gets pally with him. Right, so he gets pally with well, him. Well, have they gone holiday together? Well, no, I mean, it starts off, starts off just checking each other out and, uh, you know, probably sharing lunch and that together. Yeah. Right? Anyway, this goes on for a while. Is uh, you know, they, they're getting on well and that. And then after a while, right, the monkey starts sort of imitating him a bit more and sort of walking upright. Oh, and, God. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he thinks, oh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, they get on really better and what have you. So he thinks he could he could live at home with me, this. Yeah. Because we're getting on the storm. Yeah. Right? So he texts him home and before Is you know Is this the it, beginning of Beneath the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I think it is. I think you've seen this on video. Well, I, I'm worried, because he's already imitating you and they're moving in together. I'm thinking it's maybe a bit like single white female. <laughs> <laughs> single white zookeeper. Oh, brilliant. Right, so Go anyway. On. So, it's moving in and it's getting used to sort of the, the normal human life. It's having a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pinky tips. As a. <laughs> as a. Uh, it finishes the day off with a. With a oh dear. Finishes, <laughs> finishes the day off with what? It with does, a, a it little doesn't brandy. have to move a piano at one point, does <laughs> he? He finishes the day off with a little brandy. Yeah. <laughs> he pours himself up. Is he wearing a smoking jacket? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Carl. You're, you're listen, a maniac. Listen, mate. no, this is, this is why it attracted me. It's amazing, right? <laughs> right? So, he's having his brandy and that, loving his life. Um, <laughs> next thing you know, he sort of, um, I don't know if he loses it or he gets shaved, but the top half of his body is hairless. hairless. Right? Apart from his head. Right? So he's right. got a nice So it's the head. opposite of the kid. Well, no, yeah. This is what well, I'm that, that would happen. Right. Well, hang on, but so you don't know if you he don't was even shaved know. or if it's How correct. did it say, uh, then the, the I'll hairless, what, what? I'll bring it in for you, the story, and then you All can right, see well, if I've gone wrong. So anyway, so, um. So this is going on and it, 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 he's having a great life. Then the zookeeper starts getting a bit annoyed because he's having a better life than the zookeeper. The zookeeper's in the this zoo. This is such <laughs> so, so the zookeeper's still got to do a day's work. The monkey's at home, he's partying, well, he's got his other Well, it gets to a point when he says there's no point you coming in to the zoo because the whole reason of you being there was because you're being kept there. Right. And he didn't want to bring the memories back so he said, you stay at home. So you are ju you're talking such a- Just let him finish. God, I don't know if I can sit here and listen to this drivel. Let me- I, I'm fascinated. It's, near, it's it nearly over amazing. anyway, right? It sounds extraordinary, Carl. So, <laughs> it, he's walking up, right? He's having a tea in the morning, finishing the day off with brandy. Um, <laughs> gets a bit out of hand, only tries it on with the zookeeper's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make him go away, Steve. How does he do that? <laughs> well, because he's around humans a lot, he becomes a bit of a charmer. <laughs> and, uh, well, but, what, but what is it that he could do to seduce her? Pick fleas out of her? He didn't say. He's built. He was built. <laughs> yeah, he was well done. Uh, so what, what about that? Wait, what do you mean, what about it, Carl? It's obviously not true. It's obviously not true. This, this wasn't on the internet. This was in a book. So it's not a quick joke and just uh, put it on a website. This is in a book. I don't understand how. I love that he becomes a charmer. He's got better taste in brandy. <laughs> exactly. And he ah, oh, that what is. What was it that he was doing that seduced her? I don't know. I th maybe because he was at home more than the zookeeper was. <laughs> but what would he be doing? <laughs> I love the fact that he's not going to be talking with her. They're not going to be playing like Trivia Pursuit. Maybe, maybe she liked the silent type. <laughs> I don't, I, it didn't go into that, it just said it, that's when the trouble started. Carl. I don't think there's a week gone where we haven't mentioned an airy kid. A hairy right. child, yeah, you're Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, some related to a monkey and that. And I thought you could do a regular thing where he's got to come up with a story about a, an ape or a, a, a monkey. And it's called Chimpanzee That. <laughs> Should we do a jingle? Well, do a little jingle for us then. <laughs> oh, Chimpanzee That!
<laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Right. So I look forward to that every week. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's your interesting, interesting chimp fact? fact? Right. It's about um, this monkey ages ago. <laughs> of course. Uh, don't know where it happened. 17th century? I think it was a chimp. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> got caught having a fag. <laughs> <laughs> You know it. <laughs> what do you mean, do I know it? Oh, now it down. Those got, are chimps are caught with wood vines. Right, it got caught having, having a fag. So it was sent to court. <laughs> and, uh, Wait, was it underage? It was, it was, uh... And it got someone to go into the newsagent forum. Like, Did it get a bigger gorilla yeah, to go into the newsagent to get in 20 Rothmans? It ended up doing time. Because it was, it was. Go so back a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I mean, well, 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 no, well, I don't know. The f that's that's as much as I know. So there's no point. Questioning that is it. as much as you know, isn't it? Quite yeah. literally. <clears throat> Sorry, but why did you go to prison? Uh, it's it's against the law to have a monkey having a fag. <laughs> <it's> like... <laughs> In a built-up area. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's against the law for a monkey to have a fag. What if he got it himself? Even if it just what about if it, if it earned it himself? Just like moving tires round or mucking mucking out the zebras. I don't know the full story. That's you don't know the full story, do you? But do you think <laughs> you never do? Do I you? I presume it was a monkey from a zoo, right? Yeah. Do you think it'd be fed up, though? Because in a way, it's home from home, isn't it? When I read it, I didn't think it was that bad because I just Carl, thought well, they don't put monkeys in prison. They didn't put the monkey in a prison. They're overcrowded. <laughs> they haven't got the space. Well, I'll, again, I'll find it and give you the, the like the, where I got it from. And Chopper can... Harris was furious because the monkey got the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> can I just? Uh, <laughs> and he, he did. Okay then. Oh, chimpanzee! Can... That another one next week. I don't think so. Um, what I found is uh, found out like a lot of monkeys' names. Like that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean no. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this this one that I found about bit of a weird name anyway. It's actually called Crap. Its name, right? And so it, they they they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names. You know, they're just yeah chimps. yeah yeah. But yeah. yeah. well, this one, right? And um, it's called Crap. Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No Go one. Is it involved with this show? It um, the first monkey. To have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Okay, um. Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know. What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some. I've had some uh, umbongo, and that's all. Uh, but no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. What are you talking about? There's got to be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's got to be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well, that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I don't, you what do you mean, would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 wh what? There's got to be a third Why is that news? That story. Why is that news? Well, how did you come across that? Well, do you, you First nut monkey with tattoo head, W. I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I know. Didn't, it didn't say. It didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know. It's mad. But, <laughs> but it didn't say why. Was that said. enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied out having read that? Did you not have other? I mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know. Uh, Anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it because I don't know what I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know. I don't know that that's news. I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. I, I I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Is that all you found? You found a, something about a, no, a I'll monkey. I tell you right. When I was searching for stuff on monkeys, right. Yeah. I was searching around, like I always do, looking, finding information, right? Yeah. And, um, found out, uh, are you aware of the Iceman? The Iceman? Yeah. Go on. 
Right. And to me, the monkey thing was more. What's the ice man? Oh, the man that was found in the ice. To your own. A Neanderthal man. man. Right, yeah. It's Ricky, do you know Not a monkey, the though. No, no, I know, but I just was looking at, like, info. Right. The 5,000 year old fella who was preserved in a, in a glacier. That one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you find that more fascinating than the monkey? Well, I, I know that it's true. Yeah, it's true, but do you find it more fascinating? Well, simply <laughs> because it's true, I find it more fascinating. I can't act on some. Uh, uh, if someone. Uh, anything that's true is more fascinating. But, you see, what I get from the monkey thing, you yeah. go, oh, I wonder. Wonder if it was happy about that and. <laughs> but you accept it straight away. You accept that that is true and interesting, and I don't know what that is. I mean, to me, it sounds like a bit of cruelty towards animals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you know, uh, 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 I mean, if that's true, it's disgusting to tattoo uh, a monkey's head. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't do. A, if a monkey, if they, if they reported that a monkey. Um, uh, went in and got a tattoo, <laughs> and chose it itself, and then was uh, riding a Harley Davidson down <laughs> Camden. I go, that is incredible. But I'd really want to see it on the news, and it mustn't be anywhere near the first of April. You know what I mean? I think you've just blown next week's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that! Right. Um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh God, seventeenth century. But it ha it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in a place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew, well, there's no point in getting it on VHS. The grudge were on VHS. <laughs> you know, <I> mean, <laughs> threw it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right, and I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, you familiar with this? And uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't, she didn't know the full story, <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey? I don't know, is he a zoo in Acne? Is he a zoo there? I don't, I don't know, know what sort it was, but it, it, it was like- Is going, there a zoo in Hackney? I don't know, I don't know, that's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff. And, um, <laughs> the, the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that- And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news. They took fingerprints. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it, they saw it, nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, get fingerprints. So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is, yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs. Specifically DVDs. Yeah, DVDs. I think it said watches and stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure somewhere. it wasn't a kid with a mask on? No, seriously. How is he breaking into homes? They're good, At the they? drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but how would they do so that? So is that the news? Well, that's how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. Well, I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to... there was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if, in Hackney if... Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch, which would have been good. <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that, uh kept getting on buses, not paying its fare. Not paying its fare? And just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl! You're an idiot! <laughs> well, that, that wasn't in London. You're an idiot! That, that was in America. It wouldn't somewhere. read the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going, oh, well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Carl. inspector will notice my <laughs> hairy hands. Oh, There's a monkey in India, right? On a uh, railway station, waiting for the train. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mess it out because I've got to get through it quick. There's monkeys, monkeys sat there, and uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something. <laughs> goes running off down the platform. The police are chasing him. Monkey steps in, trips the fella up, pins him down. Police come and arrest the fella. Monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out they've got about 534 different words that they're using to like have a chat about. Stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah. What do they chat about then? Just, you know, things that monkeys are worrying about. Just, <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, 
you know. <laughs> Who does your hair? <laughs> you going up with her again, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I they, mean, that, that Were they discussing the humanity? Did you see that programme on Channel 4? Yeah. yeah. He can walk upright. Yeah. But I mean, what, Did you what see do you how mean, well you mean they taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um... Not sign language, it's but... It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He heard some, you know, some explorers over there. Cutting through the the woods and that, and he heard his name, heard and he thought, "That's what he went. What do you want, Riley?" Well, it wasn't me. I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say. I always snod grass. Where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird, isn't it? No. Right, we've we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of picked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> I, mm. I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee. Wow. Right. It's an ape. Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's, uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. The one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is, he speaks, right? Oh, God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> But when he gets a, a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, they also likes going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this anymore, Steve. I'm gonna be really sick. No. Oh, Which, gosh. Right, oh. That, that's pretty amazing. You know if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type, which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. But the thing is, right, you're saying about the, the infinite thing again, about yeah. monkeys, if you put them in a room with a typewriter, they'll come up with Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah. I'd sort of agree with that, right, with <laughs> monkeys who can't do other stuff, but this one I reckon's gonna be busy taking pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think monkeys that are boring. <laughs> is there a boring monkey? Is there- would you ever have a chimp and you'd go- it, Suzanne would go, I've got your birthday present. And you have, it's a chimp, it's a chimp fella, he's about, you know. About a sort of like a middle aged chimp. No, I'd love it. I'm talking about. Would on you ever go? The... I'll tell you what, Suzanne, that one's boring. No, no, but I bet the monkey would get bored, I mean. Do you know what I mean? The monkey would be bored. I'd be loving it. I'd love to have a little monkey. Right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is. <laughs> you really would, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd buy him a camera, he'd be happy again, wouldn't you? Well. Yeah, but that's just it. You wouldn't get him. It's like. If you can do other stuff, you don't want to do the boring stuff. Forget the typing, forget the monkey's typing. Talk about this monkey that's a photographer. No, what but you we are in a way. I'm, I'm just saying that that would be happier. Monkeys that have got nothing else to do, if they can't take pictures and that, and they can't go on chat rooms. They're happy to sit in a room typing away for, typing for away. infinity, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But he's got maybe a little exhibition to put on. <laughs> do you. Do you think. Do you know most. Do you know that most chimps. And apes and monkeys still actually just live in trees. These are in laboratories and zoos and things. You know that that that's not the norm. These these monkeys yeah, yeah. walking around, sort of chatting and riding bikes. Yeah, you know that's not natural. Exactly. No, I know, but it, it's, if it, if you left a bike in the jungle and then came back a few years later, there wouldn't be monkeys riding around on it. And a book. If you left a bike with a book in the basket. Right? And you went away for ten years and you came back, there wouldn't be a whole new transport system and schools. <laughs> no. They'd eat it. They'd throw it round and eat it. Alright then, so what you're saying is you can't- you see, what I think is, right, and don't take this the wrong way in that, right, Stephen Hawking. Yes. Right? Now he had a bad illness. Now, <laughs> I wonder if <laughs> he'd be- illness. I wonder if he'd be as bright as he is if he didn't have that. Right. Because he's had time to sit down, he's like, well, what can I do? Yeah. We've gone and give him a book. And he read it. I like that. G give us another one. Yes. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Yes. Now, what I'm saying is, monkeys. Yeah, right. They. That, this one here, Coco, which I think was a gorilla. Right. Right. That wouldn't have been happy on a, on a little keyboard, just doing that Something all day, like. because it'd be going, well, I could be out taking pictures. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Uh, <laughs> okay, there's, there's been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that 
Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me 20 quid. Yeah, well, that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so there's, that's there's one in there. New music, new music. New, new monkey news <laughs> from last September. You're a lord. Come on. Waster. Please, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this, this monkey in, uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm. And, uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey. And, uh, You're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said, uh, the people in charge were like, oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids? Brilliant. Right. So, uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand sort of, you know, they'd have the little caves each, and they used to <laughs> sort of, they used to sort of, uh, lean on the fence having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Just the, yeah, the, 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 the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like... <laughs> Can you hear that cheap as chimps this week? <laughs> <laughs> it was fascinating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just gossiping, I understand. So, uh, uh, what's, uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know, it's tuning in. What was the monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> so, what the zookeepers did was, they, uh, they said, I know how they'll have kids. Are we letting that go? They were just chatting, are we just letting just, that go? We're letting you it know go. what I mean? The, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So, um, so yeah, so the zookeepers were like, yeah, I wonder when they're gonna, you know, have some kids. Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do, t to sort of do to egg them on, yeah. um, bought, um, bought one of them a suit, one a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going! No, I'm not having Shut it. up, Gervais. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of this. They got, they got married. So and, they got married? Uh, yeah, they got married. Right. What? That's the end of it! That's- This is why I don't- Right, that's the end of Monkey News! Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey News! <laughs> I love the jingle. Right, well, well uh, Can we play that jingle once more? Yeah. Let me cue it up. <laughs> so chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Got a lot to live up to now. I'll yeah. be honest with you. Often that jingle is more fun than the monkey news. Well, yeah. So you got to excel yourself this week. Well, it's uh, there's been a lot going on um, <laughs> in the monkey world. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at the Guinness Book of Records that we bought last week. Mm -hmm. What you bought? What that I bought. Yeah. Is it um, still wet? I was, I was cleaning the tea off it. I was having a <laughs> having a little read through. And uh, there was some monkey stuff in there. There was um, this isn't the actual story. I'm just telling you yeah, what, just what it's like. What it's like looking up monkey news all <laughs> <Yeah>. week. <laughs> it's like behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. It's like the making of monkey news, which is actually available on DVD. <laughs> exactly. It's uh, you know 12 minutes unseen footage, just the making of monkey news, <laughs> which is my favourite bit in a way. If, if you if you enjoy monkey news, see how it happens. See yeah. you know from conception right. to uh, <laughs> it's all put together. Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. What's a typical monkey news day? <laughs> well, there was uh, there was some stuff about a monkey. In the Guinness Book of Records, I think it it had the record for asking for a cup of coffee in <laughs> twenty three different ways. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, now what it is is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this? No, listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Everything's normal, everyone's yeah. happy, right? Yeah. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof. Up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl, if this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never. Uh, so, so just if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay. Let's right. hear the end. It's a it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A man um, comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, Is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. <laughs> Shut up, Rick. Let me f let him finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right. Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish you didn't come in here, it's not gonna be a good day. How tall is the man? Shut up! Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know, oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's in what, thinking, in English? In English? Yeah. Think in English? So. Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it could it's be all bad news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open. Little monkey wanders oh in. Oh God, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? 
<laughs> He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it wanders <laughs> in, right? Uh, get, goes up to the robber. Where did it, where did it come from? Shut up! Will you let him finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! Don't sit down, sit down no, and finish. I'm not having this. And he does, does a runner with the with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are. You have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No. What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in. Whether was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey <laughs> robbery? What are you talking? Think, Carl. Think. I know it's mad. That's that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how how like how monkeys are, are pretty. You know, they're mental. Yeah. <laughs> they're up to no good. What are you think? They've never seen the monkey since. What did he have a get getaway car waiting? Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details. Don't talk rubbish. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Brilliant. Right? Um, right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the, he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I then remember. he nicked the robber's loot and backed out. Yeah. With a gun, yeah, he sort of stole. He, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He, or took, he, the weapons. he took all the weapons. He was like a couple of robbers. He managed because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in. It was like don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway, so anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay. Then what was that that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he? No, no, no. So, um, so the follow-up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo, right? Uh, you, uh, right, Carl, you're talking shit. Do, will you, Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can we just get out of the official Imagine thing. if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't- It wouldn't happen. I don't want- I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So, uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go, get him, he's, he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right? His monkey mates? His monkey mates, so they've all got a couple of guns <laughs> each. Oh, Carl, uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I can't <laughs> Just stand it. Honestly, I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to... Do him, a, do him a deal. They said, how about if- uh, I'm going, tell him that, I'm right. not going, now I can't- Step out for a moment. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, don't listen, step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. Now, please, I need to hear, I need to hear the end of this. Is, this is monkey news, this is important right. stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room, he cannot, he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money, mm. and they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we'll give you some cash. Yes. And they go. Oh. Sorry, that, well, hang on. Sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. The monkeys who have got the two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Right. Say to the zookeepers, "We'll sort you some money out if you let us go." Sorry, right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, "We'll give you some money." Yeah. You don't see any problem with that. Right. Listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. <laughs> right. I'm listening out there. You could, this is ridiculous. Go. What do you mean the monkeys say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They were probably holding the money out, like kind of going, "Look, you know, we'll do your deal." Right. Okay. Come on. Um, and what happened is, I think, uh, I think that I think they were happy with that. I think they left, and that was that. They they, they wanted to get out of the zoo because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right. I, I don't. Uh, Just have a look. Right, Carl. Think. Right. How did they get out in the first place? This one. Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed, he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no- If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? What have you read there, Steve? I- I've got a- I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> 
I think it's Escape from the Planet of the Apes, I'm not certain. It could be Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right. You ready? Yeah. Alright, there's this monkey. Right? Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know, I didn't say all internet, that. Probably, internet, probably. Internet. I'm sure. Chat rooms on the internet. I'm sure. <laughs> So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, starts getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. Right, the monkey. <laughs> I'd love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train sort of come in on the right lines. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the trains coming and that. I have British Ryan are listening. Yeah. Right? Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company are happy with that. I'm sure they, 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 they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's, that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before, like before trains, probably. Well, so. it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation of their news before they give it out <laughs> as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face <laughs> and transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you. You never. He always, he always has some um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeve. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes. You're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth and it comes out the the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? I'm pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with, what's up with that? You're a, you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why your, your IQ is sort of about 80. I think you might be. You might, I, I don't mean uh, there was any, I think it was a genetic sort of, sort of throwback. Well, you're pretty hairy. Look <laughs> at your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Better monkey news, that's been, uh, it's been sent in. Mm. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right. Good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got a gig out of hairdressers. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little job going in hairdressers. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down. Um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that, it sort of sits there. And it goes through people's air, makes sure it's clean, and uh, people are loving it. Right, people backtrack. So, so it's a so it's a pet monkey. It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at monkey and guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Seriously, it, it's it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job, and then it so what does it say? It says junior fifteen pounds, stylist thirty five pounds, <laughs> monkey sixty three pounds. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite dry. follow. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> Right. Maybe, maybe it did But it looks good, its hair looks good. Someone thought, hang yeah, on. Yeah, but never ever, you see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well, if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right? Because that's yeah. what I thought when I read it, about having yeah. a good haircut. How right? often do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore, sure. but, but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, 
And it was run by sort of, you know, these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh, yeah. But they'd, uh, you know, you're going what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just, just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for air cut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't have to take it. <laughs> no, no, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and, so that, that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I air cut. I don't want to be assholed. It, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who works in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack <laughs> next to a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So, anyway, that's all, yeah. Yes. I didn't quite follow why he, he, he's still, he's still, his, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his, doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um, <laughs> he's walking about, he wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there. Was said, this is nice. He's sat there picking the nits and Oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then- It's just that, it's that, it's the embellishment. You don't walk in, he walked from a jungle to an hairdresser's. I mean, you're an <laughs> idiot. You really are an idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser, if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said, this is relaxing. Apparently he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right, on people's heads. He said, let's put him on the payroll. So let's right. put him on the payroll? What do you mean? Now, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm -hmm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Cane. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Mm -hmm. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for, like, salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And nits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets, when <laughs> it gets deducted at uh, national insurance. <laughs> it's not part of the union. Yeah. Right, we've got to be quick. Go on. But, uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, we were talking about monkeys typing, mm -hmm. um, the Shakespeare theory, and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty. Right. Basically, uh, it's in some science lab. Right, it's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage. Right. <laughs> The lab fella was busy on the phone or something. Yeah. Right? And, um... Mm. Typical. It's wandering about, it goes up to a, a PC, that's in the corner, a little computer. Types down, my name is Marty. Right? Mm. So, the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there, says to his mate, have you done this? Right, hold on, Carl. Right. Let him finish. Oh. Before you question, always let him finish. Oh, I don't know what to do. Time's against us, come I on. He said, uh, he said, have you done this? He says, done what? He said this on, on the screen here, saying, my name's Marty. Right? He goes, what are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate, saying, you're lying, you did it. Monkey's sat there, typing, this isn't a practical joke, my name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? Uh, um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh... I think, we, I, think I, I think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. You can go online and have a chat, chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Has right, he got his own website yet? His uh, favourite Buffy the Vampire stuff here? Have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? It's been Don't say anything think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little monkey working, working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, do mm -hmm. a little bit of magic, people loved it. Yeah. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. 
Right. Because back then there were so mo many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names do you use, what do you do? So yeah. they just like, named them, yeah, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- What, well, he had, he had eighty-six mon- other monkeys? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- Well, why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see eighty-six, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh- 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 where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna see tonight? I don't know. It's, uh, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they all exactly. They have numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. They, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, number working- Anyway, 22, go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh-huh. With his hat. With his hat, walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on. Cos in Morocco he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, he said, how about we, uh... <laughs> See? <laughs> no, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, all right, go on then, right? So, uh, so they get in the car <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat. And, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh-huh. And, uh, just before filling it up, he opens up the boot and he goes, yeah, alright, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst uh-huh. he's filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money, goes, uh, I'm just paying for the- Right, uh, it, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car. <laughs> or, we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. So, uh... That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let Carl right, finish the story. Not be, it brilliant, not be. brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fella says, what are you talking P- about, Pump, pump four? 4? Isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> yeah. I use- no, I mean Pump 4. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You Sticks f- his head out of the door, yeah. the monkey's giving it some, uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just, let's just get a couple of the facts right here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts! So, it number 86, it, number, number 86, 86 drove, mo- he drove to Spain. You are, t- uh, honestly, Carl, I, d- you must know. It was an automatic. Right, Carl, how did he, how you did must he- know that is shit. There is no way a monkey <laughs> dr- That's the thing with his feature, though. It gets stopped It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Got, he got a no, passport? No, 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 he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. A little monkey. I think it lives in Asia, right? Uh, there's loads of them live in Asia. Might and, just be travelling, but yeah. And um, something they found out. I don't know if they've got it right, and that's why I want to bring it up. Uh, apparently, it's the mammal, right? That's got sort of the the pointiest eyes, eyes that pop out of the red. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, right? I thought that's interesting. Yeah. Apparently, it's 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 the biggest with the sort of goggle eye type thing. <laughs> Apparently, they they come out of the red. Um, one point six centimeters. One point six centimeters. What do you mean they protrude? Yeah, they protrude a, from the head at one point six. Okay. What? How, how long? Have you got a ruler, Rick? <laughs> one point one point six. <laughs> I'd say I'd, I'd be a little bit annoyed if the monkeys beat me. Well. <laughs> I don't think it has. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. 
Is there yeah. anything we can? I mean, what's one point six? Can you? <laughs> it's about drop your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, well, oh, about three quarters of an inch. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Have they got it right or what? <laughs> Maybe I should come down to Monkey World with you next week. Uh, uh. So anyway, so that's that's not the monkey news. That's just something that cropped up. And sure. I do know once when we were playing pool in the office, I think Lucy was your partner. Yeah, it was me and Ash versus you and Lucy, and um, you were having trouble because his glasses kept slipping down. So Lucy pushed his glasses up his nose, but the glasses touched his eye. <laughs> do you remember that? Uh, yeah. He started it. He started it. Well, you're the one who joined in. <laughs> no, I know, and I feel I'm, I feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me nervous when he goes. Yeah. It's like player record. No, I'm just trying to think about which part of your fat middle-aged physique I can pick on. <laughs> the tits would be a good. Yeah, spot. yeah. Oh, the belly. Sure. Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that that's what is that player record. <laughs> Is that monkey news for this week? Have we not got well, any other monkey, monkey news? news? Well, well, it's just, it hasn't been that good. I mean, the one that I found out here, um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that got a, got a decent job in a train station, um, can you think of any of the other? Well, that's just some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean, so that's what you've got to compete with. So even though this is quite amazing, um... Just thought, tell us! Another monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. What do you mean? It's got uh, another one, you know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. They decided to, you know, get married. Yeah. They did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and, uh <laughs> They could do it! The spread. I love it's that just, peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele uh. Celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because it's not it's true, <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not. On an over website, official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's <laughs> after a whirlwind romance. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was in the tyre, yeah. he saw it, <laughs> yeah. he went, I have a go at that, they go, we well, got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, did you just, yeah. did you just shut my He was in a zoo tire? knocking one off, she went, I can do that for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess say the monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. Oh. His bride was, <laughs> Not was, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was, no, I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, Like, right, you right, know, right. I'm, you, I'm yeah, single now, thoughts. it's like, you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure, looked lovely, sure. by the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the this is... The guests in I hope they didn't ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. <laughs> totally, you know, with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub, and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I, I really. I yeah. So today's isn't isn't that uh, isn't that happy really? It's about uh, some monkey. I think it was a chimp. Um, it was an ape. Go on. It tried to. He, he, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about, Carl? I, I don't, he he I jumped mean... past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What are you... Do you know what I mean? It, it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, there's this monkey, went to Russia. Um, <laughs> to do some business. <laughs> do some stuff. I don't know. Better monkey business. And, um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> they were furious. We wanted a surgeon. You send us a monkey. Um. Anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh, no, it's joking. always taking a turn for the worst. What couldn't even get into a like, you know like a tree hostel or anything like that. That's 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 the problem. And, oh uh, God. Ended up uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, this come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff, um, 
you know, share and drink and whatever you around a little fire. Um, <coughs> they broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so not homeless flat. anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a, you know, a roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his He mate. said that in Russian, though. <laughs> what, 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 what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, he didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables that, I mean, they, they, fat class leaders sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and But they've got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so. Sure. He probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. 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 Anyway, there was a bust. Um, what? There was a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left, uh, little chimps out there, got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella, at first. <coughs> they were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station. And uh, the boss was like, "What's going on here? We've got a monkey." And he was like, "What?" So you arrested the monkey. Well, so the uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going <coughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice till they got there. What did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just like you know? I, I don't know. Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't. Online, I didn't no. have the internet, so it's like, oh, what am I going to do? And I didn't come back till yesterday. And I thought, is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff? I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So I said to my dad, "Do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys?" Brilliant. This is a no. This is what Trevor McDonald does. Turned out, <laughs> quarter to ten, he goes, yeah. oh, got nothing. <laughs> Dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, Dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, turned out one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, you, sorry, yeah. Mate, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched living in Manchester like, <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp. Um, had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> For doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> Had to thump it in the head for trying it on with his wife. I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh! I'd call him up, but he's one of them who like swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good. It'd be good to get him on. And just, let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear, and I'd love to hear his story. Do a lot of work, that. Yeah. What? Well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work. No, I mean, I'll, I'll get know. myself. You can't be bothered. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'll so. have a word. I'll have a word. I'll sort it out. Yeah. Try yeah. Sort yeah. Out yeah. Sort um, that out. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story then. Let's let him say it in his own. No, words. but it was another one as well. Uh, some. When fella... you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but it's him, and there's some other fellow he knows who had a funny name. I'll have to find out because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And uh, I think he said he went. My dad went round one day. I don't know why. Went around there, knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps Mad, running mate. round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimp answered <laughs> Is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answering the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? No. You sure no, it wasn't your grand? Because uh, I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on um, then. This is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this gonna be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news extra! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, uh, another phrase. We've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, don't yeah. Don't teach your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chimpanzee the door if you're chucking your cock in. <laughs> <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, 
It's the big shambles on air, isn't it? Really? Oh, I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Dr. Fox? Dr. Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, what, he, I, he must have wanted to scream and go, you shouldn't be in the radio authority. My parents listen online, I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> Right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, long time ago, right? Yeah. In the, uh, Olden days, yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm hmm Right? Having a good life. Of right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? So, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry, I just, yeah. Everything's going great, so, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So Amazon <laughs> either your dad's been around or Is it this isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. into a middle class area. Oh, oh, they're that the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. From a rough part of the island. <laughs> so, the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, and they carry chains. So... <laughs> I love all this conjecture! They've got flip knives and this tattoos. Co yeah. Go on. So, basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with bananas. <laughs> this is such shit! This is such <laughs> shit! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Christ! Right, calm down, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh, God! What do you mean they said it? Forget it. No! Forget it. Forget it. Okay, uh, monkey news this week. Um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have indeed. Um, <laughs> Now, do you know, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff, sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim and yep. stuff. Mm. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. <laughs> it's, it's not called a manicure, though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty event. treatments. Yeah. Right? It's look good and stuff. Yeah, well, look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well, that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <gasps> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God, you're a maniac! Like, my... Oh, my Christ! <laughs> oh. Let's just... <laughs> Of course it's not! No, 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 it is, because think about it, right? <laughs> no, not think about it! What do you mean, yes it is? Of course it's not run by a couple of chimps! What do they do, get a loan? Right, if a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest... Yeah. Where would you go to? A place that's run by humans that don't, what, don't, they don't know what chimps' needs are. No! My point is this, how did they get it together? How did the two, what, two chimps, what, Mr <laughs> and Mrs Chimp, went for a loan and said, I'll tell you what we need, a spa. I think, I think it started off quite simple, right? Just, uh, just, you know, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> but they chimps expanded coming... over time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> Go! They've, I they've don't all heard know. about it. Now, the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the, the top and bottom of it, right? <laughs> Christ. The I problem don't... is... It's been going on and on and on, right? It's been it's been earning a lot of money and stuff. The monkeys are happy. The monkeys that go there are loving it. They're telling friends and stuff. They're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the the problem is, it's this little uh, little monkey, little man monkey, and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship. They can play around if they want. Well, the problem is they're not married, right? <sighs> now Some trouble brewing. The lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is, because it's his name that's down on all the, all the Carl, stuff. Carl, all I, the forms. I, let him I finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's going to happen? Sure. What if are you getting this, where away, are you getting this from? What? Internet. Carl, <laughs> I don't know where to start. 
No, this is the. This can, is just, the uh, can we this just hear the, the end? This is ridiculous. So the problem is. The, 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 the female girl, monkey is worried that the male she's, monkey she's worried. is going to die. What's going to happen with the happen? business? What's going to happen? Of course. Right? Now. What do you mean the business? The, the, the. That is spa. the business. It's a joke. Health Rick, spa. you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's name, it's in I, his name. Uh, now the problem is, oh, the woman monkey has got some kids. But because they're not blood, blood relatives, it's not going to be handed down to them. And the court. Well, they are kids from a previous monkey marriage. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that- they're not gonna get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't want to check the facts, otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat or t spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific security. And they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they- where they've got the- the, uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there, they've seen the success of it. Sure. And they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So. Give me the piece of paper. Throw it away. Play a record. That's the worst, that's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are, there's something wrong with you. You're educationally subnormal. What a monkey's good at. What a monkey's good at? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, running small businesses. <laughs> Cutting people's uh, hair and driving cars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they love Spain. Oh, and foiling bank robberies. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're great. Well, something else they're good at, right? Is like weighing up the situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! If you stick them in a in like a a field with loads of like obstacles on it, right? They're good at sort of yeah, I can get over that and I can climb over that. I'll swing from there to there, that sort of thing, right? Okay. So the people in charge of somewhere. I've thought. Oh, somewhere. Come on. I've thought we can use that. We can use that skill, right? What? And what what the, what they've done is they've got a lo load of uh, little monkeys, right? They've given an IQ test, yeah. And the ones that score above eighty, right, get to produce this show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Join the army. <laughs> Right. How do they join the army and what do they do? They just, um, what they do is they, they set little obstacle courses up for them, they do that, they do a cross-country run, they do, um, the a IQ cross -country test. cross-country run? Yeah. Okay. And then once they've done all that, they make them a little uniform, made to measure little uniform. Long, yeah. Slightly longer arms, shorter legs than usual, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, basically then, then they try to use a gun and that sort of thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> uh. You're talking rubbish again. This, this came, this came through literally you know, pretty late, late on, so. So you've not had a chance to cooperate all the facts, as usual.